Jerry, Paul, and Jim are having drinks in a nightclub when they spot Cassie, a young woman who appears to be too drunk to get herself up. Jerry approaches her and invites her back to his apartment. When she needs to lie down, Jerry takes her to bed and starts trying to remove her underpants. Cassie suddenly drops the drunk act and asks Jerry what he's up to. Jerry looks terrified. Cassie is 30 years old and lives with her parents and works as a waitress at a coffee shop. Ryan, a former med school classmate, recognizes her. Cassie spits in Ryan's coffee, but he still drinks it and asks to take her out. She gives him a fake phone number. Cassie's parents give her a pink briefcase as a birthday gift, which she takes as a hint that they want her to move out due to her lack of ambitions. Ryan returns to the coffee shop after realizing Cassie gave him a fake phone number, and she eventually agrees to go out with him. Ryan mentions an old colleague, Al, who is getting married, and Cassie is disturbed by the notion as her childhood best friend Nina was raped by Al at a frat party, while she was too drunk to stand. This led to Nina's suicide, and Cassie's drop out of school. Cassie sees many old classmates congratulating Ale on his engagement. She invites Madison to lunch and gets her drunk, before bringing up the case against Al with Nina. Madison plays it cool, claiming it was a long time ago. Cassie exits when she notices Madison is too drunk to understand what is going on and speaks to another man while looking at Madison. Cassie stops by a high school and picks up a young girl named Amber by pretending to go to a diner to work for a popular boy band. She then visits Dean Elizabeth Walker at her former med school and informs him that she picked up Amber and took her to the same room where Nina was raped, leaving her with a group of older boys. Walker is horrified and tries to call Amber's phone, only to find that Cassie has it. Walker apologizes about her role in Nina's incident, and Cassie then tells her where she can find Amber. Cassie's next target is Jordan Green, a former lawyer who was involved in allowing all to get away with what he did to Nina. Green realizes he was wrong and is deeply sorry for what happened to Nina, and Cassie forgives him. When she walks away, she speaks to an apparent hitman and tells him he is no longer required. Cassie visits Nina's mother, but Mrs. Fisher believes her obsession with the tragedy is unhealthy, and she needs to move on. Madison waits for Cassie on her front porch after calling and leaving messages for days. She reveals that a video of Al raping her had circulated, and she had saved it on an old phone. Madison hands Cassie the phone and tells her not to call her again. Cassie watches the video despite her reservations and is shocked to see Ryan watching the act happen. Cassie confronts Ryan about the video and threatens to send it to everyone in his contacts unless he tells her where Al's bachelor party is being held. Ryan defends himself and calls her a failure. Cassie calls him a jerk and tells him not to tell any of the guys she's coming. Cassie dresses up as a stripper and goes to the bachelor party. She takes all up to the bedroom and cuffs him to the bedpost. When she shows him the video, all panics and tries to defend his behavior. She grabs a knife and tries to carve Nina's name into Al's stomach but he breaks free and smothers her with a pillow. He is overtaken with fear when he realizes she's dead. Al's friend Joe finds him crying with Cassie's body next to him. Joe resolves to help Al dump the body. They take Cassie and bury her under a pile of logs and set it on fire. Several days later, Cassie's parents file a missing persons report and the lead detective pays a visit to Ryan's office. Ryan tries to save his skin by suggesting she may have done something to herself that he was unaware of. Al's wedding day is disrupted when Green receives an envelope from Cassie, with a message in the event of her disappearance. Suddenly, Ryan and everyone else at the party receive a video of all raping Nina and pre-written texts from Cassie. Police arrive and discover Cassie's remains, which contain the Nina Hoff of her friendship heart necklace. Joe tries to flee, and Al is arrested in front of the crowd. Ryan continues reading the messages, which conclude with love, Cassie, and Nina. Thanks for watching. To catch all the latest from us, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified as soon as a new video drops. We'll see you in the next one.